So I'm from Western Australia, mid-November 2007. Uh, it, was, it was a good day. <laughs> um, all our family and friends were there. Um, obviously, we were all going to miss them, but it was a nice day to leave. Sailing into the area of operations, it was an exciting time. We'd been in training for almost six months for this deployment, and then by the time we got to it, everybody just wanted to go in, get the job done. Many of us, it was our first time, so it was a great experience. So I'm a steward within the Navy. Um, my roles uh, include, but not limited to, serving meals, preparing meals. Um, we have VIPs come on board. We're the ones that, we're the first point of call. Uh, we, we meet them, we greet them. We also are the function managers, per se. We organise cocktail parties. We all organise official functions. Uh, we also, because we're so flexible within our rate, we also are the medics. We're also the standing sea fire party. So fire brigade in case anything happens. We, we aren't just fixed to hospitality. We take one Seahawk with us and a crew of technicians from HMAS Albatross. Before boarding, depending on the risk, the Seahawk will go scout the ship that we're about to board or the Dow, and then they'll report back and say whether they feel it's safe, unsafe. We'll circle the vessel we're about to board a few times at a safe distance. Uh, we'll, before we start the boarding, the boarding officer will know how many people are approximately on the ship, and they'll be asked to get all members on the flight deck or on a wing, somewhere where we can see all the members of the crew. Once we're happy, once we've done a head count and made sure that everybody is visible, uh, we'll then get them to lower a ladder or lower the stairs, and then we'll start, uh, so we'll start boarding the ship. There was a couple of times where we thought we'd found significant uh, fines, like drugs or uh, too much fuel for a dow. During our deployment, we got to do some port visits, which were amazing, great experience, because most of us were new. It's our first deployment in the Navy. Uh, we went to Dubai, Muscat, Abu Dhabi, Oman, Mumbai, Diego Garcia. And for somebody who's never left Australia, going to all these places, experiencing different cultures, it was a really exciting part of my life. We had a lot of contact with home when we were at port visits because it was easy as just getting a SIM card and then being able to ring home. When we were at sea, however, we had internet occasionally, so we were able to send emails back and forth. We had mail, uh, we had the facilities to receive parcels, letters, anything else that home wanted to send us. A helicopter would bring it in once or twice a month, depending on the quantity of mail that came in. And that was good, that boosted morale. It also lowered morale if you didn't get anything. The crew becomes your family when you're away. You go through the good times and the bad times with them. Uh, everybody gets homesick at different times. The experience for me was amazing. It's something I will never forget. And I think it prepared me for my next challenge, which was becoming a submariner.